Every year, usually during graduation ceremonies, UBC has the honor of bestowing honorary degrees upon individuals who, in the opinion of the university, have fit the criteria of excellence and eminence in their chosen field. Teresa Arsenault exemplifies these characteristics, and it is our pleasure to grant her an honorary degree. Teresa Arsenault is a double UBC alumna and one of the most respected business lawyers in the Okanagan Valley. She began practicing law shortly after her graduation from the UBC Faculty of Law in 1981 and eventually joined the Kelowna firm of Pusher Mitchell. As a partner with the added distinction of Queen's Counsel, she specializes in business and estate law and is particularly well regarded for her expertise in First Nations transactions. But it is in her role in the community that has earned even greater distinction. In particular, she has long demonstrated a deep conviction to improving access to higher education and has devoted much of her volunteer time to that end. Indeed, it must be said that she is one of the pioneers of UBC's Okanagan, beginning with her work as chair of the Getting There by Degrees campaign to bring university degrees to the Okanagan in 1989. Following the establishment of the UBC Okanagan campus, she served as a member and later chair of the UBC Board of Governors and as co-chair of UBCO's External Community Advisory Committee. I wish to also highlight her contributions to Indigenous engagement at UBC, as exemplified by her role as co-chair of the Okanagan Partnership and by her generosity in establishing an Aboriginal Access Award at UBCO to help Aboriginal students who encounter financial roadblocks. Beyond UBC, she has established an extraordinary record of service as a director of the Canada West Foundation, as vice president of the Kelowna Chamber of Commerce, and on the boards of the United Way, the KGH Foundation, the BC Cancer Agency, and Okanagan University College. She was recognized for her community leadership by the Kelowna Chamber of Commerce with the Business Leader of the Year Award in 2015. In recognition of her leadership within her community and for her contributions to the growth and evolution of her university, we are pleased to confer the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa upon Teresa Marie Arsenault. It now gives me great pleasure to ask Dr. Arsenault to say a few words. Mr. Chancellor, President Ono, and all the UBC community, especially the students who are graduating today and honored guests, thank you so much for this great honor. UBC has been a great part of my life since 1973, when I started studying in the arts faculty, right up until recently, when I finished my terms on the Board of Governors and on the External Advisory Committee. During that time, I've had the privilege of working with outstanding leaders like former President Martha Piper and Stephen Tu, and Chancellor Sarah Morgan Sylvester, and of course, our very own Deputy Vice Chancellor Deborah Buzzard. It's been such a privilege and I've learned so much. 40 years ago, I was sitting in your seat, having just graduated from law and waiting to start my articles right when the economic downturn of 1981 hit. During law school, I had a couple of part-time jobs that might have made university life a bit more challenging, but that time management that I learned was really useful when I had to come out and start practicing law in bad economic times and practice in areas I didn't want to do and scramble to bring in enough work to pay my way. But I took the long view and hoped things would work out, and they did. You have an entirely different set of challenges and opportunities finishing your degrees and launching into the work world right after and during the pandemic. And you're facing a significantly different world from the one that you started in. That long view might come in kind of handy for you. But we have our golden tickets. You have your hard earned degrees. I had my seven years of learning at UBC 
And those, those seven years have made the world of difference to my life. They inspired me to want to continue to learn for the rest of my life. Luckily, law offers that opportunity. But we are so incredibly fortunate to have had the opportunity to pursue higher education. Today, in the world of too much information, we need the skills we learn at UBC. We learn how the world works, how decisions are made, how to critically analyze information we read, and to find those leaps of logic that are pervasive in the misinformation that pollutes social media. We've opened our eyes to other cultures and languages, to other ways of thinking, and we've become painfully aware of the heartbreaking condition of people less fortunate than we are. Once the basic human needs of food and shelter and safety are met, it's education and economic opportunity that give people the step up that they need. We now have the opportunity with the privilege of our university degrees to help other people take that next step to a better life. To the extent that we can improve access to all levels of education, we'll be making a great difference in people's lives. I'm sure a lot of you have already discovered the great feeling of helping others. It's been such a privilege to be able to help make our community a better place and to help individuals move closer to their potential by facilitating access to higher education. 35 years ago, there were only 3,000 students in higher education here at Okanagan College, and people had to leave town to finish their last two years of the university. After the Getting There by Degrees campaign in the late 1980s, university degrees came to the Valley, first through other universities, then by Okanagan University College in its own right. When UBC opened its second campus here in 2005, we hit the jackpot. Today, there are over 25,000 post-secondary students between UBC Okanagan and Okanagan College. And those institutions work together in a close partnership, just as the community wanted. We are a university town now, filled with energy and innovation of all the students and faculty and grads like you, and that's fantastic. The opportunities for both the students and our community are limitless. You have what it takes to make the community a better place. You're energetic and intelligent, eager to share your learning and help other people. So believe in yourself, be bold, and make this community and the world the place that you want it to be. Thank you. I'd like to say to the graduates, to not be afraid to step out. And if you see something that needs fixing, fix it. And if you want the community to be different or you see something that needs improvement, make it different. You have that ability to go out and make a difference in the world. And it feels fantastic to do that. 